Hi, this is Rob Farrell. I'm one of the judging panel with the Air Spider Awards. Now established in 1996, the Air Spiders is in its 21st year, making them the longest standing and most prestigious internet awards in Ireland. In this webinar, I'm going to highlight some of the key findings from one of Air's research projects. It's the Connected Living Survey. I'm also going to discuss my recommendations and tips for businesses. The Air Connected Living Survey was a nationwide survey undertaken to understand the usage and impact of technology in Irish homes. It aims to record the social changes experienced in Ireland as a result of technology and innovation. The survey identified eight key themes. Digital devices in the home, the need to power down, changing face of social media, appetite for rural fibre, let's eat online, online shopping, data privacy concerns and Dr. Google. In this webinar, I'm going to briefly discuss digital devices in the home, the changing face of social media, let's eat online and online shopping. When we look at the first key theme, digital devices in the home, the research found that there's a three speed Ireland that exists in terms of device access. The most significant growth was in smartphones, tablets, smart TVs and e-readers, especially in Dublin. Smartphone ownership has been growing consistently in the last number of years. For businesses, this means that your customers are looking for information on a desktop and on a mobile device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. Businesses must ensure that you have a good mobile user experience for your customers who are visiting your website. Why not visit your own website on a mobile device to ensure that it's easy to use, easy to navigate, and it clearly communicates all the important information that your customers want to find and you want to show them. You may also consider using certain features from Google, such as call extensions and structured data. These give your audiences different search results and different information depending on their location or the device that they use. For example, your customers may be able to see your store location on a map, see your opening hours easily in the Google display, or call your store directly from the search results page on their mobile phone. Let's take a look at the next key theme. This is the changing face of social media. We can see that Snapchat, Instagram, Spotify, and Pinterest have all been growing significantly. The research found that of adults aged over 16 years, Facebook dominates all social networks and social messaging platforms. Of social messaging platforms, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Instagram are the biggest amongst the audience, then followed by the social networks such as Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. What does this mean for your business? Find out what social networks your audiences are on and have a presence there. If they use Facebook, set up and use a Facebook account. Or if they prefer to share images on Snapchat or Instagram, such as millennials do, why not be there? It's important to remember, however, that social networks are a social place for your audiences to interact with each other. While there is advertising within the platforms, it's also important to not be overly intrusive. Brands succeed by involving the audience in conversations and facilitating the audience to share their own stories. This is the area of user-generated content. Brands can also succeed by creating stories based on and with the involvement of customers themselves. Remember, it's not just about you or your product or service. Think about social media as a party. Would you really go around interrupting different people's conversations to try and sell your product? Finally, it's important to share interesting content and information that your audience will enjoy and that they will share themselves. Your audience's news feeds are going to be filled with stories, updates, pictures, and information. You need to ask yourself, what is so special about your business and your content that will make the audiences stop, read your content, and even share it? Images and video are really important on social media and we can see that live video is growing. However, it is yet to be seen if live video is really going to take off among businesses. We can see that live video and 360 are still however valuable, particularly for businesses that have a physical presence, 
such as retailers who are stacking shelves at Christmas or venues who are going backstage with artists and bands. Let's take a look at the next key theme. Let's eat online. When I was reading this research from the Air Connected Living Report, there was a couple of statistics that really kind of called out to me. For example, 46% of people have used the internet to get recipe ideas instead of referring to cookbooks. 46% have googled restaurants before visiting them. 37% have gone to a restaurant following on from reading a good review online about that restaurant. 36% watched an online video or tutorial on how to cook a dish. And 17% shared a video of a dish that they had made and they shared it on social media. The key point here is that audiences have access to information and they're willing to share their experiences, good or bad. They'll share pictures and videos of great meals on Instagram or Facebook, but they could also complain about poor service using Twitter. According to Edelman's Trust Barometer, over 90% of us trust peer recommendations, meaning we trust each other. This shows the importance of the strength and power that customer reviews and testimonials have online. We can see from the research that audiences have more access to information and are thinking a lot more about their healthy lifestyle. So, whether you're a restaurant, cafe or food manufacturer, why not show the quality assurance process behind your product? Ireland has a long history of food production and our products can be found on shelves around the world. Let's be proud of this and communicate it to our customers. We also need to be aware of what they're saying about our businesses online. For example, food manufacturers, retailers or even cafes. You can give audiences the means of having a better life using great content about your food, your ingredients, diets or cooking for example. You want to build up that affinity and that trust with your audiences. How can you do this? Well, you could share stories about how your coffee beans are harvested. Stories about farmers and how they rear and take care of livestock. You could provide recipes or tip suggestions that go well with your food. Or provide recipes for quick and easy meals that are ideal for summer. Or, As the marketing guru Philip Kotler said over a decade ago, the brand is an overall value delivery mechanism. This means that you should think beyond your own product or service and look at how it fits into and improves the lives of your customers. Let's take a look at the next theme, online shopping. And we can see that it's just part of our daily life. According to the research from the Air Connected Living Service, and we can see that in the age groups 16 to 49, this is where we have the largest concentration of online purchasing. It then significantly drops in the 50 year age bracket and what do our customers buy online? Well, they buy flights, clothing, hotel bookings, books, magazines, and insurance. What do they not really buy a lot of? Well, pharmaceuticals, medicines, and plants. We can see from the research that half of online purchasers or customers are worried about fake online reviews as they want to rely on good quality reviews before they make a booking or purchase. We can also see that they've mentioned that tailoring our messages and our product recommendations to their own needs or their own data is of significant importance to them. We can also see that over one third of online purchases agree that they can focus more on negative online reviews than on the positive. So what does this mean for businesses? If you don't have an e-commerce website to sell your products or services online, consider setting one up. It could expand your customer base and increase your profitability if managed correctly. Choose the right model for you and for your customers. An online store gives customers that convenience and it also allows you to expand your reach without having to invest in an expensive physical store network of bills or rentals. It also allows you to expand nationally or internationally. Looking at a bricks and clicks model of an online store and a physical store, it gives your customers that convenience and that choice to be able to visit your store to see your products and services in real life and or talk to your customer service representative. This brings us to the end of the webinar. My key message to businesses is to understand your customers, understand their behaviors, 
and find out what it is that they want. Then make the relevant adjustments to your own business to not only meet their needs, but of course meet your own. For businesses that can do this and demonstrate digital excellence, at the Air Spider Awards, we celebrate these every year. We have a wide range of categories, including e-retail, education, blogging, user experience, use of analytics, and use of mobile technology. We also have a number of awards for specific industries, such as charity, financial services, tourism, and we also have awards for agencies or startups. To find out more about the Air Spider Awards, visit the website airspiders.ie.